Hi there. Today we're going to be looking at an example from the textbook. Uh, it's example from exercise 7.8, number 3. A loan of $4,000 is taken out at 12% per annum compounded monthly over 5 years. Part A asks us to find the monthly repayments. So monthly repayments, and we're talking about compound interest here, this right away should be telling us that we are looking for a reducing balance loan. So a reducing balance loan, we know what uh, letters or what numbers we need, what variables, uh, and some that we need to calculate. So um, I'm going to set this up uh, using the finance solver because that is by far the easiest way to do this. So the number uh, of payments, which is N, five years times 12 months per year, 60 payments. The interest rate, and again, remember this is an annual interest rate, is 12, it's up there. Uh, then we've got our PV, or present value of the loan. It's the initial amount, that is 4,000. And let's just pause to think for a second whether this is going to be positive or negative. Because it is a loan, the money is in our hands, it's positive. We don't need to write the plus sign down, but I like to do so just to make things a little bit smoother. Next up, we've got PMT. Well, we're being asked to find the monthly repayment, so that's what we don't know. Uh, the future value, we want the loan to be paid off in the end. So the future value is zero. And then both PPY and CPY, the number of payments and periods per year, once again, monthly, so 12. So let's just fill that in here. On the uh, finance solver, we need to have a calculator page, menu, finance, finance solver, and we're going to fill in the values that I've just said. So N is 5 times 60, pardon me, 5 times 12, which, when I go to the next, does the calculation for me. The percent is 12, present value 4,000, payment we don't know, I'll come back to it, future value 0, PPY 12, CPY is 12 as well. Scroll my way back over to payment, press enter, and we get this value here. So as we're dealing with finance, we want to round this to the nearest cent, which is going to be 88.98. So for part A, the monthly repayments are 88.98 per month. Now on to part B. Part B is where things get a little bit trickier. Uh, it's asking us how much is still owed on the loan at the time the interest rate is increased. Because after three years, the bank is increasing the interest rate to 14.5%. So once again, we're going to use the finance solver here, but we've got to be a little bit more creative. Um, looking at this, it's after three years. So how many payments have we made after three years? Well, that's 3 times 12 is 36. Uh, the interest rate, now it hasn't changed yet, so the original interest rate is what we want, and that is still 12. PV, that's the initial amount, is still going to be 4,000. The payment, and here's where you've got to be a little bit careful. Because even though the CAS gave us this long answer here of 88.977790, etc., we would only actually be paying to the nearest cent. So we're only going to be paying that amount per month. So our payment, which is leaving our pocket, is 88.98 per month. We've got to be very careful with that. The future value, 
Well, that's what we're actually being asked. We're being asked how much is still owed on the loan. So how much is left over? And then once again, CPY and PPY, those aren't changing. That's still 12. So let's update our finance solver uh, to indicate what we've just talked about here. So N is now 3 times 12, which is 36. I is still 12. That's still correct. The payment is going to be negative 88.98. And the future value is what we want to find out. So if I press enter, PPY and CPY aren't changing. The future value is $1,890.00. And nine cents. So eighteen ninety oh nine. Answer. And again, rounding to the nearest decimal place. One thousand eight hundred and ninety dollars and nine cents. On to part C. Uh, but I guess before I say that, I should just mention that if you were to use the exact value that they gave us, so the 9777 whatever, uh, this would change your answer slightly. So it is important that you use the rounded answer because you are going to be paying an exact amount, a full amount of cents every month.